Hey, hello everybody, and welcome back to Gran Turismo 2 and the Grand Valley Speedway 300km endurance race final part. <laughs> Let's go! Oh, this race. Breaking. Oh my god, you guys, you know what I, you know what I just made? Uh, uh, I have a big, tall glass of, oh god, of chocolate milk. Yes, I made myself a nice big glass of chocolate milk. You guys know that chocolate milk is my superfood. When I drink chocolate milk, I become more than human. Now please turn, car. <laughs> yep, yeah, I let my dog out. <coughs> let my dog out. Made myself a big old glass of chocolate milk. <laughs> chocolate style milk, as they call it in uh, Japan. Up, up. You know what I notice about different chocolate milks, though, you guys? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Christ. Yeah, you know what I noticed about different chocolate milks? You buy the store-bought chocolate milk, and it has such like a, it's almost like a set taste. You know what I'm saying? Like, every store-bought chocolate milk always has that, like, real chocolate milk taste. But then you buy, like, uh, like chocolate sauce, you know what I'm saying? Like, chocolate syrup. And, like, mix it with normal milk, and it's just not the same. It's just not the same, you guys. What do you guys prefer, homemade chocolate milk, where you put like chocolate sauce in the glass and stir it, or store-bought chocolate milk? Myself, I don't know man, that's a hard decision to make. Hmm, here's an easier way of putting it, there. I, I drink, whoa, I drink more, whoa, I drink more like, homemade, I guess you could say, homemade chocolate milk than I do store-bought chocolate milk. But if I had to, like, choose between the two, I would definitely pick the store-bought chocolate milk. Absolutely love it. So damn good for you, too. There's so much, so many different, like, uh, nutrients and uh, vitamins and all kinds of different shit, man. Vitamin D, too, baby. Not very many places to get vitamin D. Otherwise known as vitamin B12. Bam, 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 bam. But yeah, there's not many sources of vitamin D. Chocolate is a great source of vitamin D, as well as a lot of iron, a good amount of calcium as well. Man, just chocolate in general is, is so good for you, but the fact that it's like milk a as well, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, makes it even better. Oh god. Oof. Ooh, I was quick to save that. We had a tiny little bit of understeer <laughs> that was causing me uh, not to be able to turn back as quickly as I wanted. Was quick enough to catch it though and slam the brakes. And there's that viper again. Or is that the viper? Woo. Could be one of the other guys. Not the viper. Hello. No! <laughs> Here I am. Oh, there you go, guys. That's proof right there. When you look at a girl's butt, <laughs> you might crash your car. Because I was just staring at the booty of that viper, and that, that's what happened. We spun out. 
That's hilarious. I was literally just looking at his booty like, damn, that's nice, and then, yeah, that happens. <laughs> Sorry, sugar. Was just looking at, uh, your features. Jesus. This viper is like a curse. Please, straighten out. Stop, stop, stop. This viper is like a curse. It seems every time we, uh... Every time we meet this guy, some type of calamity happens. What are you doing, sir? Don't cut me off. Okay, I thought he was gonna try to sneak in and cut me off. Even though he's like four, four or five laps down. I was late on my brakes there. Oof, nice. Recover with a brake step. Full throttle out. Woo! <laughs> I almost lost it there. If I didn't let off the throttle there. We would have went too far around to save that. <laughs> I love the, um, I just love the way this car drives, like how it handles. down into first there, but just wasn't having it. Hooey, you guys. We are almost done this race. In fact, on uh, this lap here, uh, this will be our final pit stop of the race. Oh, a bit too much there. A little bit too early on the throttle coming out of that. Whoa, super wide there. Nice recovery with an inside knife. An anti apex. Whoop. Excuse me, sir. Turn. Turn, my love. <laughs> spin the tires, spin the tires. That's my girl. Oh, this car, yo. Hugging. Hugging them corners, because I love them. Stop of this race. <laughs> they owe me for lawn care once again. Wow, 
what the living Christ is that noise? I don't know if you guys are hearing that through my mic. Oh, I opened my window. That, oh my god. That total, my heart started beating so friggin' fast there, you guys. I have my, <laughs> I have my fucking window open. I thought there was like s s spirits in my house or something. I was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys are gonna hear that on the, uh, through the microphone there. But I could just hear people talking. It sounded like they were talking in my bedroom. And then I was like, what? <laughs> and then I remember that I, I opened my bedroom window, like, uh, 15 minutes ago or something. <laughs> oh man, did that ever have me freak right out. Ugh, I was like, are there people in my fucking house? Like, what? <laughs> what is that? Oh my god, there's just people hanging out in my bedroom having a conversation. But it's just people walking by, I guess. People walking by on the sidewalk. If you're wondering why I went totally silent there for like 30 seconds, I was listening. I was about ready to pause the game until my my uh, brain was like, wait a minute, I opened the window. It's actually a super nice day today, you guys. Nice enough to have the window open, baby. Huh. Winter is finally coming to an end. Friggin' Kalu Kale. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> Kalu Kale, what a friend to his day. Winter is coming to an end. Ah! Nope, 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 nope. Easy, please, stop, stop it. <laughs> get up, Bo, get up. Get up, Bo, please, come on. Come on. It's so distracting to have you just standing there staring at me, honey. Good, good. Yeah, now lay down. <laughs> I hate when my dog does that, yo. When I'm playing a, playing a game, <clears throat> my dog just comes up, stands like two feet from me, staring directly at the side of my head. I don't know why she does it. That, that's another thing, too. I really don't know why she does it. If you're wondering, if you're thinking like, oh, she probably needs to go outside, I, I literally just let her out before I hit record on this video, so she was outside 12, well, 13 minutes and 3 seconds ago. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> she just does it to me all the time. She doesn't really like it when I play video games too much, because I yell, especially while I'm playing online games, I yell quite a bit, because I get excited and stuff. I, it's not that I'm getting mad or not, I'm not yelling at the game like, fuck, or anything like that. Um, <laughs> it's like, I get excited, and I'm like, oh shit, you know what I mean? Because, like, truthfully, I do play games to, to enjoy them. I don't play games to freaking get mad at them. I don't understand the point of that. I mean, yeah, obviously, I do get upset at games sometimes, and some games do piss me off. I mean, shit, there's, there's probably 50 different videos that I've uploaded since I've started doing YouTube where, you know, you can clearly see that I'm not very happy at what is happening. <laughs> You know? <clears throat> but other than that, I'm pretty calm when I play video games. I don't break controllers or, you know, punch TVs or any shit like that, so... I'm good in that aspect. <laughs> Otherwise, I would not have uh, eat nowhere even near uh, as much, like, shit as I do. Like, systems and games and, you know, controllers and memory cards. Like, guys, I have so many goddamn controllers, I literally just have boxes of controllers. I'm not even shitting you. Boxes of controllers. Just boxes. All over the place. I have so much shit. Game. Whoa. I have so much gaming shit. It's a little bit ridiculous, to be honest with you. Just, <laughs> just memory cards alone, like PS2. PS1 and PS2 memory cards, I swear to god, you guys, I literally have like fucking 17 memory cards. And the craziest part is, is that I know what's on like all of them. <laughs> They're all marked. Like the one, the memory cards for my PS2 that I use to play YouTube games 
are memory cards that had nothing on them to begin with. So the only things on my YouTube game memory cards are the games that I have played for YouTube. Which is why when I load, like if I'm playing like say an RPG like Grandia or something like that, you don't really get to see my other profiles and it's because I'm on a different memory card. It's because I don't want to accidentally save over uh, some of the files that I have. Because, I mean, I'm a gamer and I've been playing games for 30 fucking years. Some of the profiles that I have for games are truly ridiculous. Like, I'm talking world record contenders. I have so many profiles that I could throw up on YouTube and, and be like, Yep, it's world record and it would probably tie for the world record, straight up. You guys should see my Rogue Galaxy profile right now. Shit's getting ridiculous. Fucking 917 hours. Yeah, that's the type of shit that I do off camera while I'm not playing video games for YouTube. I put 917 hours onto a single RPG. <laughs> you know? Like, holy fuck, man. I'm just a gamer, yo. That's all it is. If I showed you guys some of the profiles that I have, my Final Fantasy X profile, world class, absolute world record holder of my Final Fantasy X profile. Nothing left to do, my, there's not an empty node on my entire spear grid, every single one of my characters have literally done everything that they could possibly do, there's nothing left, there's actually no purpose for me to ever play Final Fantasy X ever again in my lifetime. Only for YouTube, that is the only purpose, to play for YouTube sometime later on. Other than that, I own the world record profile of Final Fantasy X. There's no arguing with it. I also own the world record profile for Rogue Galaxy, like I was saying. I also own the world record profile, I would imagine, maybe for Final Fantasy XII as well. I'm pretty sure I, uh, the file that I have on Final Fantasy XII would, uh, um, would qualify as the number one world record. I mean, if I showed you guys some of my profiles, you guys would be like, what the hell's wrong with you? You know? Some crazy shit, man. I played some games, my friends. I have played some games. Shit, even my fucking Pokemon profile for uh, uh, Game Boy Advance. Pokemon, uh, the Pikachu version. Bruh. Even the leaf green. If I showed you guys my leaf green, you'd be like, holy fuck. Yeah, gotta catch them all? Yeah, you definitely gotta catch them all to beat me, son. And you gotta level them all up to 100 as well, son. Straight up. <laughs> you should see my Pokemon profile, man. No, no bullshit either. I mean, I mean you can't really hack a fucking Game Boy game. <coughs> it's legit. My time is maxed out, 99.59. I'm only missing, uh... Well, I think I'm missing six Pokémon in the whole game. And that's because I have two Game Boys. Well, I have, like, fucking 17 Game Boys. But, uh, the two main ones that I use, and then I have a, a connect cable to connect them together so I can catch Pokémon in, uh, like, the red, fire red version, or emerald or whatever, and trade Pokemon between my profiles to make one of the games basically have, like, every Pokemon, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, my leaf green profile, you guys. Fucking disgusting. Disgusting. I, I'm not sure how many hours went into that leaf green profile, but I don't think anybody has a, a more played profile on leaf green that has more Pokemon caught as well. Like I said, I think I'm only missing like six Pokemon. <clears throat> Pretty crazy shit, man. I do some shit off camera, you guys. Like, I get into some serious gaming when I'm off camera. Uh... You know, now that I'm talking about it, um, <laughs> it's a good reason, please, to to subscribe to the channel if you're watching right now. Please subscribe to the channel, man, because like I want to start live streaming and shit like that for you guys. I want to do some of the live streams that other people have done and think they're cool doing it, but I'll do it a lot longer than they. 
So, like, there's people out there that do, like, oh, Minecraft, you know, 12 hours, 12 hours of mining, you know? 12 hours? What the hell is that? 12 hours. Come on, man. You guys want to see somebody mine for fucking 72 hours straight? Let's go. You know what I mean? Subscribe to the channel, you guys. I'm fucking psychotic. You guys just haven't realized that yet. <laughs> Because when I play games for YouTube, I'm playing just for fun. I'm not trying to be the best. I'm also, I don't want to go to, uh, you know, episode fucking 5,000 on the same game. You know what I'm saying? I want to play, like, every game that I can possibly play on my channel. I don't care what game it is. I've said this before, I don't give a shit. Yo, if you guys want to recommend a game, I don't care what it is. You want me to play fucking uh, Teletubbies? fucking Barbie world, I really don't care what it is. If you guys recommend it and I so happen to have it or can easily get my hands on a copy, I will do that for you guys. I really don't care what game it is. I, I enjoy basically any game, so... <clears throat> I mean, me playing Barbie... I mean... <laughs> oh, you guys. Why did I say that? Now somebody's gonna fucking comment on this video and be like, Play Barbie! Play Barbie's fucking dream world or whatever it is. You bet your ass, I'll play Barbie's fucking dream world. We'll complete every goddamn saga in the whole fucking game. <laughs> Actually, I do have some very rare games too, if you guys are wondering. Yeah, I'm one of those people that has a really dumbass collection. So that... Pretty good chance that uh, that I'll end up having the game uh, that you are requesting. Although it actually happened a couple of weeks ago, where somebody was like, "Yo, man, can you play a, a Valkyrie Profile?" And, and I was so disappointed when I read that because I was like, "Fuck, I don't have any Valkyrie Profile games. How? How do I not have any of these games?" Like, <laughs> I instantly went on uh, LukeyGames.com to check and see if they had copies of uh, Valkyrie Profile, as well as a couple of other games as well, uh, Vagrant Story and stuff like that. I was checking out a bunch of them, but uh, rest assured, I, uh, that, that is the first game that is on my list uh, to, like, to order next. That's the first game that I'll be ordering next whenever I decide to order a big stack of games again from LukeyGames.com, you guys. I fucking love that website, man. It's the greatest goddamn website for video games in the history of the planet. You literally find anything at LukeyGames.com. Like, I'm talking anything. I don't give a shit what it is. They even have, uh, a lot of their systems get sold out, like, super, super fast because they sell systems at a pretty cheap amount. But you can find old systems on there that are brand fucking new, you guys. N64? I have a brand new N64, you guys. You know that? A brand new N64 right out of the box with a brand new expansion pack that I took out of the box and put into the 64 myself. With a brand new N64 actual Nintendo brand controller, not one of the cheap-ass pieces of shit. Like, Luka Games does not play around. Man. Absolutely love that website. That's where I pretty much get all of my shit, if you guys are wondering. Like, there's a couple of places around where I live. There's a uh, couple of electronic stores. Whoa. And then there is a, uh, a micro play pretty close by. And we have EB Games. Uh, EB Games is basically the Canadian version of GameStop. It's pretty much the... I mean, looking at the two stores, they even look the same. You know what I'm saying? Like... Even their logo and everything, it's pretty much the same. Uh, well, they, they, they're similar to each other, you know what I mean? But anyways, I'll go to those places and I'll look in, like, the old bins, like PS2 games, and look for, like, really serious games in there that are rare as hell. The problem is, is that other people do know rare games when they see them. <laughs> so I pretty much have to be there on the, on the right day, at the right time, in order to buy certain games like for instance Valkyrie Profile I mean that that's a very rare title so I, I have 
actually never uh, owned a copy of any of the Valkyrie Profile games. So, that tells you something right there. <laughs> and I have like a stupid, stupid library of games. Like, stupid. I had like 300 PS2 games. I have about 300 games for basically any system you could name. I think I've said this before, I basically have like 300 of every system's game. About that, I'm not sure. I really am not sure, I haven't done a count in a long time. I think I have about, uh, I don't know, maybe about, jeez. I really don't know, to be honest with you, because I'm trying to think of all the games that are on my, uh, my Xbox hard drives and stuff as well. Whoop. Because I have a couple of different hard drives for my Xboxes. And I mean, if I can't find a game... If I'm looking for a, a specific game and I can't find it at, like, EB Games, I can't find it at Microplay, you know, and I can't find it, like, Lukey Games just doesn't have a copy of it or something like that, but then I find out that I can download a digital copy of it to my hard drive. Oh, fuck yeah, let's go, you know. I have so many games on the hard drive. <clears throat> it's ridiculous. I, I think I have more games on my hard drive than I do on disc, to be honest with you. I have like 40 games on one hard drive, 40 games on another hard drive. I know one of them has 37 games. Yeah, I have about 120 games on hard drive. I have four different hard drives, if you guys are wondering. <laughs> and all of them are 250 gigabyte. I essentially have a terabyte worth of games on hard drive. That is disgusting, you guys. <clears throat> Sometimes when I sit back, like, look at my games, I'm like, oh my god, yeah. I don't even know what the fuck to do. Oh, there it is, you guys. So we have the Rough RCT in second place. A TBR Cerbera 4.5 liter in third place. The Lotus Esprit V8 SE in fourth place. I was wrong. I said that it was not the V8 SE in the original episode. It was the V8 SE. It was the GT uh, that I had said, but that was the one that was confusing me. The GT is the one with the spoiler. The V8 SE is the one without the spoiler. Blah, blah. Fifth place, we got the Viper GTS. And in final place, we have the Jaguar XJR Vehicle. <laughs> it's like the dumbest name for a car. Uh, what do you drive? I drive an XJR vehicle. There it is, you guys. Give me my half million. Pop. Perfect. Give me my brand new car. Oh, wonder what it's gonna be, you guys. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm excited, you guys, what's gonna be. Ugh. Place your bets, place your bets. What's the car gonna be that we won? Oh. My. Goodness. Right to the top of the garage that goes. That is now the new fastest car in our garage. This is the 1997 Nissan R390 GTR, or GT1 race car. So this car ran Le Mans in 1997 did extremely well, and in 1998, its big brother went ahead and, uh, well, it won Lama against the Toyota GT1s. Pretty impressive stuff. I'll go ahead and show you guys its big brother. So there's the road car version of the R390. Oh, that's right, you can't uh, actually look at the, uh, the blue R390, the 1998. Well, at least we got the 1997 now. I was hoping that I could show you guys the uh, 1998 uh, R390, but uh, it's going to be a little pain in the booty meat. But, yeah, man, there it is. This is uh, one of the greatest goddamn cars. Well, I mean, I've always loved the R390s more than the Toyota GT1. I find the GT1 loses control a lot, and the R390, well, I mean, it does not. So, yeah, we got ourselves an R390, which is completely awesome. Hey, you know what this girl deserves? <laughs> if the game will allow me to actually do it. She deserves a nice car wash. There we go. Get all cleaned up. 
because she's a winner. Well, you guys, <laughs> that's going to be the end of the episode here today. Let's have a look here. 56.50 is where we're at. Thank you guys so much for coming out and watching this episode of Grand Turismo 2. If you guys want to be the coolest people in the entire galaxy, make sure you hit that like button in the jaw somewhere and then smash the subscribe button as well. I'd fucking appreciate it so much, you guys. I absolutely love you guys, and I wish you guys the total best. I'll see you guys all in the very next episode. Make sure you have a good day. Bye. Bye.